If you have an art submission, or if you sent me some art and you haven't seen your name in a video yet, send it to me on Discord in my Telltale fan art channel. I might have missed it. Also, check out my science channel. I just released a video on neural nets the other day. Pretty interesting stuff. So I was taking a look at these Mormon videos the other day, and I came across a video by the three Mormons talking about whether or not there are cults. They're trying to debunk the idea, so I figured I'd get meta and debunk their debunk. We're going to take a look at Mormonism and see why it's unequivocally a cult. Let's get into it. Are <laughs> Mormons, is the Mormon religion a cult? That's what this episode is about. And so uh, there, there are opinions all over the place about this. Uh, and uh, who better to ask than three Mormons, right? We are Mormon, so we should know. So what we're going to do, we have a list here of definitions from the internet, so you know they're accurate. Yes. A list of definitions of what a cult is. So we're going to go through them. We haven't read these yet. We're going to find out if we're a cult. Well, here's my first complaint. Mormons are not the best people to ask to find out if Mormons are a cult. They're the worst people to ask. Why would they even suggest that their opinion would be valuable on this subject? Their bias makes their opinion 100% worthless here. Second, why would they think some list of random definitions on the internet is going to help? No, we need to ask the psychology community who specializes in dealing with things like this. That's what the bite model is for. It helps us determine if it's a cult or not and how extremist it is. If they really want to know if they're a cult or not, they should be comparing their religion against that model. Okay, let's continue. So, let's start with the first definition of a cult that is on here. So, a cult is a system of religious veneration and devotion directed toward a particular figure or object. So, so I mean, yes, we are. As that. long as that particular figure is Jesus Christ. Yeah. That's literally any religion. Muslims are yeah. a cult because of Muhammad. Uh, Christians are a cult because of Jesus. Uh, Hindus are a cult because of Krishna. This is, that's dumb. That, sorry. That's not dumb, I, I guess. I not know that is how people define cult. That's because it isn't how people define the word cult. Here's the thing. There's a colloquial, common definition of the word, and there's a definition from the psychology community. It sounds like they have a list of common, colloquial definitions in their hands. That list isn't going to do anything for us. Actually, it might do at least one thing. It'll allow these people to compare every religion against these watered-down definitions, thus solidifying their belief that they aren't in a cult, when, in fact, they are. We'll talk about exactly what makes them a cult in a bit, but first, let's Let's just go through their little definitions here. I thought a cult this was is like, like this scary. is a textbook like scholarly definitions of cult. That's any, so that if any we're religion. A cult, yeah, any religion is not just us. So, so I guess what people get hung up on is they think that we are uh, directly uh, devoted towards Joseph Smith. I think right, is cool. probably the main yeah. thing. Well, that's, yeah, we're just not. Well, I mean, we belong to the Church of Jesus Christ. So, so hopefully people think that, that he's kind of the focus of our church. If you think that we worship Joseph Smith, you probably just don't know a lot about re our religion, and that's okay, because I know that's probably what goes around the rumors about yeah, us, yeah. this crazy stuff, but we worship Jesus Christ, and that's why that's the name of our church. But even um, if we do worship Jesus Christ and follow Jesus Christ, it still says here, yeah. we're still technically a cult because yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a particular figure. All right. I, I, guess, like I guess we're a cult. Couple of things to address here. First, he called these scholarly definitions in the beginning. No, these are not scholarly definitions. If you're looking for scholarly definitions, then you're going to want to look to the bite model. That's been accepted by the psychology community to outline common behaviors and tactics of cults. What they're reading from here are just dictionary definitions that were added to the dictionary long before the bite model was even formed. And they were influenced by the subjective views about common cults from around the time the definitions were written. And aside from that, notice how hard they're pushing this whole we worship Jesus Christ not Joseph Smith but even though we do we're still considered a cult bit it doesn't matter who you worship and for the record I know they don't worship Joseph Smith he's a prophet of theirs like Moses I don't think they put him on par with Jesus but he's up there either way it doesn't matter what makes a cult is how they treat their members the rules they lay down for them and how those rules are enforced a relatively small group of people having real having religious beliefs or practices regarded by others as strange or sinister. Sinister. Yeah, no, no, we're still a cult according to that definition. Yeah. Uh, people think we have, I think we have strange beliefs. I believe them, but <laughs> from the outside looking Dude, in, they're whole strange. religion is a virgin birth and walking on water. That's weird. That's, like, objectively, yeah. so every religion is also a cult. Mm -hmm. 
See, this is why these definitions are useless to somebody who's actually trying to get to the truth of the matter, because they're completely subjective. Who thinks the cult is weird? Outsiders do, but insiders might not. We want to get to an objective truth about it. Are they a cult or not? What is a cult? There are real, non-subjective questions we can ask about it. Do they shun members? Do they gaslight? Do they control your clothing and hairstyle? Do they control sexual practices? How much you eat or drink? Do they put you through mind-numbing rituals? Do they make you spend a disproportionate amount of time on church activities? Do they encourage a black versus white, us versus them mentality? Things like that are what define a cult. Most religions do some of these things at least on some level, but when you find a real, legitimate cult, you won't have a hard time telling the difference. Their goal in this video is to make it look like the term cult is too broad. Either it applies to everybody or it doesn't apply to anybody. At the end of this video, I'll go through a few things that make the Mormon church a cult, where other common Christian denominations are not cults. Number three, a misplaced or excessive admiration for a particular person or thing. Okay, so this one is interesting. Obviously, it's based on opinion again because whether or not it's misplaced mm. is, is an opinion, but... Or uh, excessive. So according to this definition, I'd say we're probably not a cult because I don't think that our um, admiration for Christ is misplaced at all. And here, they're redirecting from Joseph Smith to Jesus. Sure, they believe in Jesus. That makes them Christians. But the real distinguishing feature of their religion is Joseph Smith. What he did, what he said, who he was, it isn't Jesus. If they cut Joseph Smith out of the equation, they'd be typical, normal, vanilla Christians. But in their defense, I don't really agree with the definition anyways. The leadership or focus of worship has nothing to do with whether or not it's a cult. As I said, the defining factors really revolve around the rules they give to members and how they enforce those rules. So, cult, like, I don't know why cult has such a bad connotation, because... Well, it's, you no, know, it's because... because actual like the cults that you think of when you hear cults like sacrificing like, are very and, like, famous for creepy some really like, weird weird stuff so but but i honestly i think um re it's got cult rap, is used by religious people to describe religions they don't like because it's like look i know that we believe that jesus rose from the dead and gave the people bread and wine representing his body and his blood i know it sounds weird but Hindus are a cult because their stuff's weirder. So it's just like you point to other people and say, they're a cult. Look at them. They're weird. Hate yeah. them, not us. It's and like a, it's like a, it's kind of juvenile. And I'd be yeah. willing to bet that, that the, uh, uh, I, I want to say accusation for lack of a better word, that we're a cult comes from early church history when the saints did physically gather in one place and we followed physically, literally the prophet, uh, Joseph Smith from, you know, Ohio to Missouri, etc. But, uh, and so I see where that comes from, uh, but I had a point for this, and I don't know where well, it was going. So, I mean, by these definitions, would Jesus be a cult leader? Oh, I was going to say, like, yeah, the children of Israel, like, they kind of all gathered together. Like, Moses was, was like, Moses, Moses a, cultist? a cult leader. Jesus was a cultist, I guess, technically, based on these. Oh, my gosh. Anyways, so the word cult is so weak sauce. Like, it just means, like, anything. Uh... Cults might be used by religious people to describe religions they don't like. The term can be used to promote tribalism within certain religious communities. That may be true. But there's a real definition. There are real criteria we use to describe cults. The term cult is not weak sauce. But by using these definitions, that's obviously what they want people to think. They get so offended at the idea that somebody might think they're a cult. They try to explain it away. Yeah, we did some weird culty thing a long time ago, but Jesus did that stuff too. No, it's the things you're doing now. That's the problem. It's your current behavior and treatment of members. That's what makes you a cult. Not all that old stuff from centuries ago. I know it isn't a nice word, but the first step to helping somebody escape religious abuse is pointing it out. Usually when you call somebody's religion a cult, it causes the backfire effect where they just shut down and get even more locked into the mindset than they were before. But if you can prove to them that what they're going through isn't normal or healthy, it might move them a little closer to leaving the church. That's where the bite model comes in. I've talked a lot about the bite model in the other videos. It's a list of criteria under different categories used to determine if you're in a cult. It stands for behavior control, information control, thought control, and emotion control. B-I-T-E, bite. Here are some of the criteria that I can see from the Mormon church. 
I can definitely see them promoting dependence and obedience. They restrict or control sexuality. They control clothing and hairstyle. They exploit members financially. They instill black and white thinking. They use loaded language and cliches. They induce hypnotic or trance states to indoctrinate in the form of singing, playing music, and praying. They use excessive meditation, singing, and prayer to block thoughts. They reject rational analysis, critical thinking, and doubt. They deliberately withhold and distort information. They, at the very least, discourage you from speaking with ex-members and critics. They divide information into insider versus outsider doctrine. They gaslight. They generate and use propaganda extensively. They label some emotions as wrong or sinful. They teach emotion-stopping techniques to missionaries to prevent homesickness. They teach that there's no happiness outside the group. Now I do have to say that they don't really shun. They definitely socially ostracize, but they don't shun in the same way as Jehovah's Witnesses or the Amish. Have to give them that. But all those criteria met is more than enough to call them a cult. I haven't even gone over how extreme they are with each of those things. I didn't need to. I know you guys are interested in that kind of thing though, so I will eventually. Anyways, that's all I've got for you. Check out my Discord, my science channel, and my podcast on iTunes and on YouTube. Also check out the secret link of the day. All links are in the description. Thanks for watching guys.